Hey guys, oh, another cold, cold morning. Okay, <laughs> settled now. Look, rubber. <laughs> so, on the naysayers, there's plenty of people out there that say you can't do things. Funnily enough, a lot of people tell me I can't do that after I've done it some things I mean not illegal things that's just silly. that causes more stress than anything else but uh, things like I don't know wearing rubber in summer in sunny sunny Queensland where the temperature gets to like your mid to high 30 degrees Celsius I mean that's just over around a hundred Fahrenheit for those Americans um, and the humidity, okay, it's not just the temperature, it's the humidity that really kills you because you get like 80 to 90% humidity and you're sweating buckets. But yes, I have worn it, no, not just in air conditioning. I do my usual morning walk and sometimes, even early in the morning, it gets to like your 20 degrees Celsius um, to 25 degrees Celsius. And then the sun comes out. Oh my God, the sun. <laughs> but I still, I've done it. And I've had people who have been into like this year saying, no, nah, you can't do that, it's impossible. Or you only do it in these sort of conditions and for very short times. But no, I have done it. And I'm kind of amused when people say, no, you can't do that. It's like, but I just did it. I mean, <laughs> that it is actually possible to do stuff like this. And of course, you know, I think it's about 2000, so one two three it's almost coming up on four years it's about three and a half years since i've been wearing latex every day for since march 19th 2019 so so 2017 2017 2018 2019 march that's three and so it's about three three and just just under a half year since I've been wearing latex every day um, so I set myself at God and I, I didn't set it out to be this long <laughs> I set it out to be I wonder how long I could wear latex for or every day now it's just become my thing it's just I just love it so much and I love bringing it to other people um, and I love that when I first started wearing it um, a lot of people just when they saw me wearing it that's like they never thought that they could wear it because they saw me wearing it because I wasn't your typical I don't know latex model um, you know really slim like size 8 to 12 or whatever it is they have and perfectly coiffed I was like an everyday person um, wearing rubber and I know people don't usually like to talk about their sizes and girls don't usually like to talk about their sizes but when I started wearing latex and rubber I was actually I think a size 18 to 20 or something and I was pretty large and I had I think I was about 115 120 kilos or something like that not now I don't know what I am now um, but I'm not small and it's quite entirely possible to wear rubber when you're a larger person and I love bringing that to um, normal everyday people well I can't really say normal everyday people if you're wearing rubber I guess but just to people that didn't think that they could wear it you know just to be able to wear it and just just touching into that that part of them is absolutely awesome because I love the expression on their faces when they just I don't fall in love with themselves all over again or just fall in love with themselves for the first time and they just say, oh my God, I can't believe that's me. Oh my God, I look gorgeous. Like, hey, look, what I do is bring out the beauty that I see in a lot of people. Now, bringing that out, I don't bring it out for everybody because there's some people that, I'm not saying that it's not the beauty that's inside them. Um, 
some people do have unrealistic expectations and there's reasons to go into it and there's some people that I mesh with I guess and a lot of people I don't know the, the latex world can be small but um, it's not all that small and there's quite a few people who do make latex and rubber and they just see it as a money thing and they you know I don't know if they really enjoy it well they enjoy it in themselves because they wouldn't be into rubber if they didn't but I don't know I kind of like working with people that I kind of mesh with and that understand that I'm not in it for the money I'm in it for the enjoyment and that's what I like which is why you know the latex business is small but you have your different styles you have your different people that you want to talk to and you go to for certain things and I'm not so precious as to say oh but their stuff is all crap and you got to come to me and all that sort of stuff like no if you like bits of their style that's fine if you like bits of my style that's fine mix them up I mean, you wouldn't solely shop at like um, you know, Target or Kmart and just have a war over that with it. I mean, the clothes are clothes. But your passion is your passion. And if there's some things that you like, why not pursue it? And there's some people you click with and you work with them and you get a nice relationship going and you, you can create something really awesome and it really brings out that shine in people, which I really do like, you know. Not just for, for my benefit, but just people getting in touch with themselves again, you know, that inner selves, not what they think that they should be, just... Anyway, sorry, <laughs> I'm diverging. <laughs> when people say you can't do that, the naysayers, but then you look back and go, hey, but I did. <laughs> Sometimes you're just plodding along and doing your thing. And then you look up and all of a sudden you realise, oh my god, I did what they thought was impossible, improbable or extremely difficult. And I guess that's the thing, when you have a passion for things, you just, you just do it. You like doing it. Sure, there's hard times and yes, it is challenging being summer in Queensland, the sun and the humidity and wearing rubber particularly if I wear dark stuff so I've, I've made a switch to try and wear some lighter colors in summer um, but yeah what have there you know have there been things that you've done that you didn't realize was I don't know difficult or that people said you can't do that and what was it other things that you want to do that people said that you could do how are you going to tackle that and why are you going to tackle that is it interesting to you is it challenging is it just for the challenge or is it something you're really really interested in i don't know how do you know that and have there been things that you thought hey they can't do that but they did and you go okay now why did they do that i thought it was impossible but oh my god i thought it was improbable so you just thought you know i can't wear this or i can't do that and why have you thought that you know like I said, there's been plenty of people that didn't think that they could wear rubber. I'll bring the rubber out to you guys. That's what I love doing. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to keep kinky on. See? Getting my kink on. Anyways, that's the Thursday after hump day. Still, still doing a bit of recovery after my accident. I had a car accident last week. So, still following up on stuff on that. Oh my god, the paperwork. <laughs> Anyways, I'll catch you guys later. And these guys have been planting all sorts of stuff. I showed some pictures yesterday. They've been planting these awesome, awesome flowers, which will come out in pretty, pretty bloom. I'll show you. They planted these yesterday. I think that's cypress mulch. Helps keep down the bugs. Awesome, awesome. Anyway, love you guys. See ya.